Okay, hey everybody, it is Umber here, and it is a, another day here in Japan, warming up. Uh, we're getting closer and closer to springs, uh, which means that uh, the trees are starting to blossom, the rain is starting to come, and uh, yeah, it is definitely a time to be alive. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's get into uh, what this video is about. First of all, about Project Triangle Strategy. I've had some people message me on Discord, and I've also had some uh, questions on YouTube. So first of all, let me talk about uh, just what's going on with that. Uh, I am going to be playing that. I will be playing that on stream. I am not going to be uh, documenting 100% of my playthrough because I, it's a strategy game. I, I tried this with SD Gundam a while ago, and it just ate up way 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 too much uh time and was way too difficult and i just kind of lost steam and then stopped playing it uh it's it's hard to stream everything i haven't been that way with elden ring and i probably am not going to but if you're enjoying the elden ring videos great um yeah i'm just going to be playing a uh, triangle strategy probably this week along with votive votive will of course be totally uh you know i'm fine with people coming in and chatting about that asking questions and whatnot at any time but i will be streaming because uh this week is just not that interesting on the jp side in votive um and that kind of segues me into talking about votive so first of all uh the japanese side this week has really just been doing a, the uh guild war uh, it's or guild battle guild raid battle it's not overly amazing like if you've seen these kind if you've seen any of these before then you know exactly what's going on um water is doing really well against this doing uh potentially uh tons and tons of damage in terms of against uh the unaleska she is uh light boss i mean there really isn't uh too much it's just as much damage as you can possibly do other than that, Sadali this week, I've been uh, testing out Sadali through a kind of combative mode that they've given in uh, him for this time. So right here, this mission, you can actually go up against a arena based team uh, with Sadali. And uh, it's Sadali, I think, Joom, as well as Astoria. So it's a pretty stacked team. And pretty much against other sword types it gives a good idea of what sadali could be on an arena team it has roughly about 8000 hp and i'm going to give my full thoughts on sadali after doing this fight a few more times just because at the moment i'm not impressed with his ai and i'm hoping that they are going to change it maybe so that his limit burst will be a little higher priority because uh, when i was fighting him earlier this week he was just not using his limit burst. He was using other abilities and getting uh, pretty much just not very much of a threat from uh, that. I think he could be incredibly deadly in a uh, manual setting. But I'm going to hold off on that. Uh, the last thing we're going to talk, or I guess next point I'm going to talk about is news. Some people have been wondering, where's the news, Umbra? News has been showing up around Friday videos. Uh, it's just the way that the scheduling works out this month. Uh, Japanese side news comes uh, basically a couple of days before we know the next event is going to cancel out. Oh, look, a crash. That's fantastic. So right now, the current schedule since Sadali came on March the 1st, we're probably going to see a March the 7th update. It will probably be a new Wind Elemental Vision card, some Master Abilities, but I don't think we're going to be seeing any other surprises since we have the Final Fantasy X one going right now. Most we're probably going to start hearing about in the near future is the uh, next uh, Trials of Judgment. So yeah, I uh, look forward to that probably next week. More than anything, I think we will see um, around the yeah, Wednesday, Wednesday will be the next Japanese side update. So we'll get the news more than likely on Monday, which will just mean that we're doing global and uh, Japanese side news together again. Great. 
All right, last thing is to talk about a unit, uh, Valentine Ildira, who is a character that I did a preview of and I ha didn't do a final review, first of all, because I didn't get her. So it was really hard to test her. And I don't know of many people who did. Uh, and especially very few who have her as a friend unit. So it's been really difficult to kind of get a good idea of precisely how useful she is in PvE stuff, but I feel like overall from my time with the friend unit, I can say she's a solid unit. Absolutely a really solid unit with um, good stats all around. I've been the most experience I've had is actually with her in um, like arena parties. I've seen her in quite a few arena parties and a fair number of level 120s especially when you're in the hires. I mean, there isn't too many fire teams sticking around, but there's enough that I've had a good number of fights against her. And I would say that my even my pure water team with Titus this week has suffered a one loss. Not a ton, but out of the four times I fought uh, teams with her this week, I think I've uh, lost uh, one out of three. Or one out of four, I mean, so about 25%. And I think it was really just uh, landing status effects. Um, but she's a capable damage dealer. She is a absolutely solid unit. And if I could show you a full 120, I would, but just not appearing at the moment. Uh, a lot of Tituses. But yeah, um, really nice damage capabilities, good movement. Uh, I wish that she could kind of have a few more AoEs. It would make her a little more recommendable in terms of farming, but she's a capable unit. Even on the fire element and even without a brand new vision card, she is a, you know, just an actually really good solid unit. Does that mean I think she's better than, uh, where would I put her? I just put her higher in the tier list right now, but not like you need to go all out for her at all. More of just a nice unit to have. Good good for people who are looking to strengthen their fire teams, but without the brand new vision card or really the return of the Crystal Chronicles card, it's super hard to make a big recommendation on this character. So yeah, I, I think PvP I give her a solid recommendation. PvE I think solid recommendation if she's in but uh far from a mandatory character so yeah just gonna wrap that up right now and uh probably next week i foresee myself uh doing the sadali review uh once i have had a little more time uh going up against him but uh hey that's all for this video sorry that there isn't too too much to talk about i've been uh planning a couple of other bigger videos, but it's just been a busy week for me. And obviously I've been a little, just a little bit uh, enamored with uh, Elden Ring and a few other games. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. Take care and see you early next week for more stuff. See ya.